Hey, hey, people. Five Aces here. It has been a while. Over five months, in fact. If you are wondering why I have made myself scarce, I have been through all seven layers of tech support hell. If you are familiar with the works of writer Franz Kafka, you will recognize the pattern. The protagonist finds himself confronted with a seemingly mundane problem that gets more and more absurd as time goes on with no hope for escape. In this video, I am going to share the full story with you. For those of you who preferred the short version, my laptop short-circuited in February and Murphy's Law was liberally applied from there on. Channel output is returning to normal now with one or two shoutcasts per week. Seeing as views have essentially flatlined and I have fallen out of favor with the almighty YouTube algorithm, if you want to support the channel, I'd greatly appreciate if you watch, like, or otherwise interact with the video. All right, that's the synopsis out of the way, so let me get into detail for those who want to hear the full story. On February 14th, my laptop just went black while I was editing a document for university. At first, I suspected a loose cable, but replugging it did not help. I got another charger, but the screen remained dark. My next assumption was that the laptop's power intake must have taken damage from the lightning storm the night before, so I called it a day and brought it to a laptop repair specialist the next day. The shop clerk told me they'd take a look and call me back within two weeks. Fourteen days later, I got a call. The clerk let me know that it was much worse than expected. The graphics card was dead, he offered me to order a new one and install it for 400 euros. I looked up the price chart and found out that my card was no longer in production. The cheapest replacement was indeed selling for 400. I asked him if they could replace it with a different card, but he told me that the architecture for my Asus ROG was so complex that installing a different model would be almost guaranteed to create a host of issues. I accepted his offer. He let me know that it would take at least four weeks, because the model he had ordered was from another private seller in the US. They went silent for five weeks. On a Friday afternoon, I finally got a call from them. The graphics card had arrived, but there was a new issue. Further tests had revealed that the mainboard and the keyboard had died as well. I was shocked. They offered to replace these parts as well. The new asking price was 1,100 euros. I had no choice. I needed the laptop for completing my open array patch spotlight. So I agreed. The CPU had been cycled out of production as well, so they had to find another private seller. Due to the global chip shortage, waiting times had skyrocketed. The ETA was another two weeks. In the meantime, I bought a cheap office laptop for 600 euros. It was not just for the shoutcasts, I had already wanted a second lighter device for job-related purposes that I could carry with me to work since my Asus was an unwieldy 4kg monstrosity. I recorded some shoutcasts on the new laptop. As it turned out, the graphics chip was not strong enough to capture gameplay at all frame rate dipped to 0.1 frames during busy scenes. I uploaded the shoutcasts anyway and gave them the label potato casts. They were unwatchable, but I thought it was better than nothing. In the meantime, I was communicating with Pishodi over the patch spotlight video. I had already recorded all the gameplay scenes and audio necessary to edit the video on this laptop, but when I sent them to Pishodi, we realized they had massive frame dips as well. I had to scrap almost an hour of recorded footage, the entire setup had cost me around 25 working hours. Exhaustion started setting in. Six weeks later, they gave me a call. The laptop was ready and good to go. I picked it up from the store, took it home and wanted to start recording. After 15 minutes of intensive use, the device went black. I checked it and noticed that the surface was insanely hot. I let it cool down and restarted to check the temperature. As soon as I opened Firefox, it started heating up again. I checked the core temperature, 95 degrees Celsius. That was when it hit me. The fans and cooling system were not working at all. I took it back to the store. They apologized profusely and told me they'd fix it free of charge. A day later, I got a call. There was a massive issue. The fans were completely fine, except the new CPU was unable to command them to spin up. They offered to order another CPU and replace it free of charge. ETA, four more weeks. Well, four weeks passed and they called me, asking me to personally come into the store so they could show me something. I went there immediately after work and they showed me a small package from the US with their address on it. It was from the private seller and supposed to contain my CPU. The content? A bag of potato chips. They had been defrauded by a seller who had never been in possession of the CPU to begin with. 
It has been reported to eBay and the police, but that didn't change the fact that we were one CPU short of a working laptop. There was no other offer for the CPU in question to be found anywhere on the internet. The shop owner was embarrassed and told me he had never had a case like mine. After consulting with the technician, he made me a new offer. They would keep my broken laptop, cop the losses in the graphics card and CPUs and let me trade it in for the strongest gaming laptop they had in stock instead. They showed me the device in question, an Acer Gaming from 2017. I checked the benchmarks online and they were pretty good. In fact, around 20% better than my old device by all metrics. I agreed under the condition that they'd install my old hard drive. No problem, they complied and I had a laptop again. When I came home, I immediately booted the device and re-downloaded all my apps. All went well until I tried accessing my old hard drive from the Explorer. Black screen. Rebooting netted interesting results. No matter what I did, after two minutes the system crashed. Back to the store next day. They had no idea what was going on, so they took it in for an inspection. Two days later, I got another call. The hard drive array produced instant crashes when certain partitions were called, but only on that system. When installed on other systems, they worked just fine. They promised to find a solution. I left, the feeling of helplessness creeping in. On the 30th of July, I received another call. They had found a replacement. I went there and looked at the device. A Lenovo with an Intel Gen 9 and a GeForce GTX 1650. Good enough. I took it home and tested it extensively. No crashes. This arduous journey had come to an end. And here we are. I do have a working laptop back. Now it is time to rekindle the flames and start rebuilding. Thank you for listening to the complete story. Weekly casts will be back. I am also working on the patch spotlight video, but since I had to redo it from scratch, it might take another two weeks. If you want to support the channel, the best way to do so is to make the almighty algorithm aware of our existence. Interact with the video in any given way, share and comment. The cryostasis is over. Welcome back, commanders.